All right, so we are on step four of the tutorial where we are going to create a CRUD. CRUD means create, read, update, and delete. So it's going to be a view with all these operations. And this view is going to connect to the MariaDB database to um, allow the user to create new books or to edit the books or delete the book and, and so forth. So um, let's jump right into the code. Okay, so this is the admin view, right? The one that it's uh, used by users with the role admin. So it's protected, let's say, by um, Spring Security. And now we want to create this CRUD. So we're gonna add it here, CRUD. And that that is, let's create it here. A new grid, CRUD, which comes from the, from the add-on CRUD, CRUD UI. And you need to specify here the the type. It's a crud of um, books, so that's what we we'll specify here. And believe it or, or or not, only with that we have the user interface for a crud view. So let's check that out. There we go. So we have uh, the options to add a new book. We have a grid or a table. It's called grid in Vadin with all the books and one column per property in the in the um, book class and we can add new books here of course it doesn't really work yet it doesn't really save the item as it says there because uh, it's not connected to the back end so how can we do that uh, that's pretty simple so we need to add here or be actually before that i just noticed that we have the id here and maybe this is not in the best order possible the columns and the same for the um the form so let's let's configure that and that's very easy to do so we can just get the grid which is a a, a vadin component right and we can set the columns using the names of the properties in the domain object or domain class which is book so we're going to use title published and rating title published rating and now it's going to show only those columns there and for the uh, form to configure the form we need to get the um, crud form factory and again set visible properties it's going to be the same i want to use exactly the same so let's just copy from there to avoid typos i hope i didn't make any typos um let's try that out actually before continuing to see that um, the UI looks the way we want. Title, published, rating, that's good. Now we don't have the ID here and, and we only have these three fields. All right, very good. So let's connect that to the backend and the backend is book service. Let's call it service here. And if you have a look at this constructors, there's one that accepts a CRUD form sorry, um, CRUD listener. And remember that we did that before in the previous video? CRUD listener, we implemented that. That means that to connect this to the backend, all we have to do is pass the service class there. And that should be it, really. So we should be able to save um, data using this view. So let's try that out. Let's add my recent book, Practical Vadin, published. It's very recent, I think it's just some months ago, a couple of months ago. I'm going to give it a rating of 10 out of 10 to this book. Add, there we go, we have it there. Let's add another one. Whatever, published, I don't know, another year just for fun. And uh, any number here, add. So this is actually in the database, and we can check that. Let me just refresh this maybe and we have the book table this is an sql client and you see that inside the database you have the two rows in this table pretty cool huh um yeah so that's how you can implement um, a crud using vadin